Hello all, a quick video to showcase the Quasar Red Bypass on the latest Windows machine and Windows Defender. These two articles are strongly recommended if you want to understand what the tool does on a higher level. And as promised over here, I will be showing the tool and bypass in this video. This is also the tool that is used in the Mythic C2 video over here. We will be showing how we can use this Go Buena CLR to bypass Windows Defender and specifically bypass MC for .NET based binaries such as Quasar Red Client which is written in C Sharp. Let's download Rubius as well to demonstrate the Windows Defender bypass. Okay, wrong directory. We should be in the Buena Village directory. Alright, now let's compile the program specifying the rubius.exe binary. This will produce a Buena Village.exe binary, which is a custom launcher for Rubius. As shown in the screen, if we were to try to execute Rubius, it wouldn't even land on disk successfully without triggering Windows Defender. Now let's try the Buena Village EXE binary instead. No detections at all. We can even execute it without an issue. Now let's showcase the Quasar Red client. I have already built the client and named it badmalware.exe. If we were to transfer it to the desktop folder, we can see that it is immediately detected as Quasar Red. Now let's do the same, compiling the Buena Village tool and specifying the Quasar Red bad malware file as the input. Alright, now if we were to transfer the Buena Village EXE over back to our Windows machine, we can see that there is no longer any Windows Defender detection. Awesome. We can even give it an extra quick scan. Now let's execute it. Nice. We have a callback on the Quasar Red server. No detections at all. We have successfully bypassed Windows Defender with this. A quick note, you will need to make some minor changes to bypass a trivial signature detection from Windows Defender on the Go Buena CRR tool like this. I have simply added an extra number 2 at the back of these testnet variable names. Alright all, this is it to the video. I hope you have found it to be useful. All credits belong to the authors and all references will be provided in the video's description. So be sure to check it out. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.